Today it's a new set. I'm sure we've done a Midland 78 plus multi before, but there's a change. They've gone over to a blue display. So, without further ado, we will take it out of its box and make a nasty rattle. And now we have a 78. Right, we'll open it up and we'll see if there's any changes inside. Right, the first thing we had to do was to set the channel and that's done with the set off you hold the AM FM button there on second to the right the scan button on the right hold the two together while switching the radio on and after it boots up you can then rotate the uh, channel the channel selector switch to what country you're in we're in the UK and then that locks into the radio's memory with the AM FM button so it's hold those two switch it on and when it boots up rotate the channel selector to get the country you want and lock it in with AM FM so that will save you reading the instruction manual which you've already lost right on the printer circuit board there it says this is the revision 6 and it says 17th of September 2015 and I'm talking to you on the 3rd of February 2017 so it's quite recent isn't it right without anything else what we need to do is we'll go through the transmitter what I have got is a circuit diagram which I found on the internet somewhere at some point and I've made up a layout chart so that we know what presets and coils do what especially when we can just zoom out for you there right so I'm going to start in transmit And so we're going to go now into transmit and we'll see what we've got. It is doing, ooh, it's doing two and a half watts. So um, I think what we'll do is to adjust RV1, which is the power regulator, and RV1 is the preset, which is just here somewhere. That one there. The transmit lineup. We've got the VCO clearly just there. I don't know how that's adjusted. So we'll leave that alone. And no doubt there's a procedure which we, if we had a full service manual, would be able to find out about. Now we've got 502, 301, 302, and presumably that's 303 inside there. So I would guess, I know from the circuit that 301 and 302 are part of the transmit, so we will just do those. What I don't like about this, it takes about half a second to go into transmit. No, I can't feel anything under there. I'll just see if this makes any difference or not. This is the educated guest time. Well, it's, uh, it seems to be beat at that. So there's the transmitter set up there. Now, with it having a... What's it doing now? In transmit, I was just doing about three watts. Sounds about usual, doesn't it, for these newer sets? Um, you can hear rattling. You can get Bob's here today, and these rattling things. Now then, the frequency. That's what we'll do. Now, the frequency is set with the four and a half meg oscillator, which is just here with CT two hundred one. 
and at the moment we've got twenty seven seven nine one one four so it's slightly low it should be twenty seven seven nine one two five with us being in the UK so I'm just going to use my yellow trim tool to just bring that up there we go 2779125 now deviation a lot of new sets come out very low don't they Let's have a look what this is doing. Let's put the oscillator on. Yeah, about one and a half. One point eight with the whistle. The deviation adjustment on here is four oh one. Four oh one's the one just down here. So we'll just set that with the oscillator. Check it with the whistle test. Yep, that's spot on. And I had to turn that to full to get the deviation which we wanted. So the whistle peak is 2.5 and the steady tone there was 2.2 kilohertz. So that's um, that's fine, that's set up fine. Now, with it having a power meter, we just want that to be reading something like, I know it's only relative power. So when I key up, we've got the full lot of bars across. But in actual fact, of course, it's not actually doing 4 watts. So I'm going to just drop that down a bar. And the TX um, meter is the preset here at the back, which is 202. So I'll just go into transmit. So I've just dropped that a bar. Think that covers what we need to do on transmit. If we got, if you wanted, to, if you're interested in AM modulation, the AM modulation is C201. Yeah, RV201 is. I'm telling you all wrongly. No wonder it's uh, reading low on transmit power. The power regulator um, 201 is is there. No, it's, it's uh, number one. 201 is the. Um, AM so, 20, so that's number one that is the power regulation not that one which was the AM mod so that's AM mod and that is the power regulator so just make sure we're doing something like 4 watts yeah that's a bit better it's a bit near it's about three and a half and um, I'll just recheck that meter on the front if we can now let it read where it says four. Yeah, that's fine. And that's what it does. So that seems to cover that. So we've got transmit, transmit, transmit. We can't feel anything down there. We've got the deviation down there. We've got the frequency set there. We've got the power here. And we've got the AM modulation is there. I reckon that covers it. So I'll see you on the receive side of the video.